morning, everybody, and welcome to a whole new version of Noah's Window. Back last March, I was sitting in the Atlanta airport. A friend of mine had said, well, this coronavirus thing could be a lot worse than we think it is. He said, we could actually get shut down. So in that Atlanta airport, I started thinking, well, what would I want to do if we got shut down as far as having services? And one of the things that I thought about was I'd like to have a daily contact with our congregation just opening the Bible and sharing some thought. And then God gave me the language of it, Noah's window. There was a window at the top of Noah's ark, and that was the way he, he and his family could stay close to God even though a flood was happening around them. Well, you know, we thought it might be a few weeks, but I think we actually did 95 editions of Noah's window. And of course, that doesn't even include the weekends. But a couple things happened that gave rise to this whole new version of Noah's window. One was a few weeks after Noah's window began and the coronavirus was getting worse, we realized this was more than just a pandemic because it wasn't just a physical illness that was attacking our country. Our, our country burst into flames, uh, and I don't mean that literally as much as metaphorically. We just had all the unrest and violence and trouble. And then on top of that, it felt like Satan was just attacking us from every side. I had the sense that we were living in very prophetic times. You know, I believe we're in the last days, but I feel like what I see happening in our world today and what I read in the scriptures, I feel like we may be at the very end of the last days. Now, uh, the second thing that happened that uh, led us to this version of Noah's window was I was doing a prophecy series, and in that prophecy series, I found what I felt like were a couple of the major signs of the coming of Jesus and the end of the last days. Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, that's how it would be in the days right before the coming of the Son of Man. So as some of you were reaching out to us and asking if we would be open to continuing Noah's window, I had a whole new vision. This time it wasn't just a pandemic and a shutdown. It was living in the days of Noah and what could we draw from the Word of God. And I know Mary Alice, it was like God was speaking to you about this even before you know, God was speaking to me about it. I was a little reluctant to keep this going, but I know you felt like even earlier than I did, that God had a plan for this. Well, as so many of you reached out and let us know that this became a very big part of your day and that the encouragement was really making a difference, uh, it just seemed like God was opening uh, the path before us to continue if we can. And so I think we've made the arrangements so that we can do that, and we want to just continue to be an encouragement to you. And as Mark said, we are living in these very difficult days, and we do need to encourage one another. And what a wonderful way to have a daily encouragement um, to just continue Noah's window. We just want to be a blessing to you guys. Well, we thought about this and prayed about it a lot as we were getting ready for this version of Noah's window. You know, before it was kind of uh, a verse here and a verse there and a thought here and a thought there. But Mary Alice and I really felt leadership of the Holy Spirit to bring you a consistent look at Scripture. In other words, to take either a book of the Bible and to work through that book together or a character study and to look at that character study. And, and Mark is so good at finding Bible characters and just really bringing them into the modern world and giving us applications so we can learn from their life and see our relationship to them is closer than we think. And so we've, we've kind of decided to go that route as we go into the new Noah's window. Yeah, this all started when I was a kid. I used to read this Bible story book. In fact, Morales and I ordered one the other day uh, online, which you can find everything online. I hadn't even seen this Bible story book since I was a kid. But I read it and reread it, actually wore the cover off of it, reading about the people in the Bible. And one thing I became convinced of, even as a very, very young Bible student and preacher, and that is that the people in the Bible are just like us. You could take them to the mall and get them updated clothes, and they would be just like us because they lived in times like the times that we live in. And here's something that's really important for this iteration of Noah's Window. The Bible tells us in the Scripture that these stories are given to us for our example. In other words, God is writing these stories for us so that we could learn from their lives and their experiences. So Mary Alice, I know God has led us to a particular Bible study, or not, maybe not a Bible study, God has led us to a particular, uh, I'm sorry to say character, but actually a couple. That's right, Abraham and Sarah in the book of Genesis, and we get introduced to them in Genesis chapter 12. And I was gonna add one thing to what Mark said too, I think as we read these stories, we get to know the people, but also, in learning their stories and getting to know them, we learn more about God because we see oh, how He interacts with them. Yes. And so yeah. that's where we want to start. And, and for those of you who want to get a head start for tomorrow's episode, 
Um, we're going to be diving into Genesis 12 a little bit and get to know uh, Abraham. Or in Genesis 12, he's actually still Abram. That's right. And Sarai. Before God changed the name. That's right. So uh, we're looking forward to this. And we just hope that today uh, we may have whetted your appetite and just excited you about where we're going with this series. Uh, now, starting tomorrow, Mary Alice and I will open our Bible, so you may want to get your Bible out if it's early in the morning. Some, you know, I know some of you watch this first thing in the morning. Some, some of you may watch it last thing at night. But if you get a chance, get your Bible out or get an electronic device out where you have, you know, have access to the Bible and, and read along with us because it's going to be life-changing. And, and here's my, my promise to you is that we will keep this going as long as we're able and as long as you're interested. So we're looking forward to this study. And Mary Alice, before we leave, I'd like for you to do a couple things. Number one, I know uh, in Noah's window, we used to have music embedded in this. And because that's a real production challenge for our team, we have another way of accessing that music. I'd like for you to that's talk That's right. About There's it. a Noah's window playlist, so you can find that on YouTube. And I would encourage you to go and access that list and listen to those songs on an ongoing basis because they truly are a blessing and they do tie into all the things that we talk about. Right. And before we had the band on stage with us today, this studio that you're looking at is actually our basement. So the first thing, Mary Alice, thank you for sharing that. And we may have songs that we'll recommend so that you can check them out. Uh, but in the meantime, today, you can actually go to that playlist and Pick the song that you think speaks to your heart the most. And the second thing I'd like for you to do, Mary Alice, before we leave, is would you pray for everyone watching and know us with it today? I would love to do that. Let's close in a word of prayer. Father, what an honor and privilege it is to talk to all the people that are listening today and represent you and encourage them with your word and who you are and what you're going to do in their life today. For each one that's listening, each family that's represented, I pray that even today, you would just wrap your arms of love around them. Help them to feel your presence and know your love today. Give them wisdom. Give them guidance. I pray that you keep the evil one away from them and just uh, lead them through this day. And most of all, we pray that you would bless our efforts to uh, represent you well and to be a blessing to these that are watching and listening. And we thank you for who you are, all your many, many blessings, and all the things that you have done, that you are doing, and that you're going to do. And we thank you for that. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Hey, thanks for joining us today for Noah's Window. So wherever you are in the world, from our basement here in Andover, Kansas, we hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow on Noah's Window.